Winbox is a small utility that allows administration of MikroTik router operating system using a fast and simple graphical user interface. It is a native 32-bit version of Windows binary, but can be run on Linux and Macintosh operating system using Wine. All Winbox interface functions are as close as possible mirroring the console functions. Some of advanced and system-critical configurations are not possible from Winbox. Winbox Loader can be downloaded from the Macrotic download page. When winbox.exe is downloaded, double-click on it and Winbox Loader window will pop up. To connect to the router enter IP or MAC address of the router, specify username and password and click on connect button. You can also enter the port number after the IP address, separating them with a colon, like this 192.168.88.1.9999. The port can be changed in Router Operating System Services menu. It is recommended to use IP address whenever possible. Mac session uses network broadcasts and is not 100% reliable. You can also use Neighbor Discovery to list available routers use Neighbors tab. From list of discovered routers you can click on IP or MAC address column to connect to that router. If you click on IP address then IP will be used to connect, but if you click on MAC address then MAC address will be used to connect to the router. Neighbor discovery will show also devices which are not compatible with Winbox, like Cisco routers or any other device that uses Cisco discovery protocol. If you will try to connect to switch device, then connection will be established through web browser. Simple mode. Connect. Connect to the router. Connect to Roman. Connect to Roman agent. Roman stands for Router Management Overlay Network. Add slash set. Save slash edit any of saved router entries in Manage tab. Open in new window. Leaves loader open in background and opens new windows for each device to which connection is made. Connect to. Destination IP or MAC address of the router. Login. Username used for authentication. Password. Password used for authentication. Keep password. If unchecked, password is not saved to the list. Advanced mode. Browse. Browse file directory for some specific session. Keep password. If unchecked, password is not saved to the list. Autosave session. Save sessions automatically for devices to which connection are made. Session. Saved router session. Note. Note that is assigned to save router entry. Group. Group to which saved router entry is assigned. Roman agent. Select Roman agent from available device list. File. New. Create new managed router list in specified location. Open. Open managed router list file. Save as. Save current managed router list to file. Exit. Exit Winbox load. Tools. Advanced mode. Enables slash disables advanced mode view. Import. Import saved session file. Export. Export saved session file. Move session folder. Change path where session files are stored. Clear cache. Clear Winbox cache. Check for updates. Check for updates for Winbox loader. Winbox supports IP version 6 connectivity. To connect to the router's IP version 6 address, it must be placed in square braces the same as in web browsers when connecting to IP version 6 server. Winbox neighbor discovery is now capable of discovering IP version 6 enabled routers. As you can see from the image below, there are two entries for each IP version 6 enabled router, one entry is with IP version 4 address and another one with IP version 6 link local address. You can easily choose to which one you want to connect. Wine is a software that allows you to run Windows executable files on Macintosh operating system. Install latest Wine software from the official Wine homepage, during installation you must check the 64-bit checkbox so that it can operate in Macintosh operating system Catalina and newer.
Then, you will have to launch Winbox 64-bit version using this command line. Change the command according to where you installed Wine and where you have put the Winbox 64 executable. This is the easiest and most reliable way to run Winbox on new Mac operating system versions. For older Mac OS versions, it is possible to use Winbox in Apple Mac operating system operating system by using Wine emulation software. For easier use it can be combined with Wine Bottler software to create a more convenient executable. Also for older Mac operating system versions. If the bottled version does not work, you can use Homebrew to install Wine and then launch the regular winbox.exe file from our download page. Then just follow these steps. If you'd like to create a launcher in Mac operating system, to avoid launching Wine from the terminal, you can do it with Automator and save the result as a service or as an app. This is an example setup. Winbox interface has been designed to be intuitive for most of the users. Interface consists of Main toolbar at the top where users can add various info fields, like CPU and memory usage. Menu bar on the left, list of all available menus and submenus. This list changes depending on what packages are installed. For example if IPv6 package is disabled, then IP version 6 menu and all its submenus will not be displayed. Work area, area where all menu windows are opened. Title bar shows information to identify with which router Winbox session is opened. Information is displayed in following format. On the main toolbar's left side is located undo and redo buttons to quickly undo any changes made to configuration. On the right side is located Winbox traffic indicator displayed as a green bar. Indicator that shows whether Winbox session uses encryption. Winbox has medium dependent interface meaning that all menu configuration, child, widows are attached to main, parent, Winbox window and are showed in work area. Child windows cannot be dragged out of working area. Notice in screenshot above that interface window is dragged out of visible working area and horizontal scroll bar appeared at the bottom. If any window is outside visible work area boundaries the vertical or slash and horizontal scroll bars will appear. Each child window has its own toolbar. Most of the windows have the same set of toolbar buttons. Almost all windows have quick search input field at the right side of the toolbar. Any text entered in this field is searched through all the items and highlighted as illustrated in screenshot. Notice that at the right side next to quick find input file there is a drop down box. For currently opened, IP root, window this drop down box allows to quickly sort out items by routing tables. For example if main is selected, then only routes from main routing table will be listed. Similar drop-down box is also in all firewall windows to quickly sort out rules by chains. Almost every window has a sort button. When clicking on this button several options appear as illustrated in screenshot. Example shows how to quickly filter out routes that are in 10.0.0.0.0 slash 8 range. Press sort button. Chose DST address from the first drop-down box. Chose inform the second drop-down box. In means that filter will check if DST address value is in range of specified network. Enter network against which values will be compared, in our example enter, 10.0.0.0.0 slash 8. These buttons are to add or remove another filter to the stack. Press filter button to apply our filter. As you can see from screenshot Winbox sorted out only routes that are within 10.0.0.0.0 slash 8 range. Comparison operators, number 3 in screenshot, may be different for each window. For example, IP root window has only 2 is and in. Other windows may have operators such as is not, contains, contains not. Winbox allows to build stack of filters. For example if there is a need to filter by destination address and gateway, then set first filter as described in example above. Press plus button to add another filter bar in stack. Set up second filter to filter by gateway. 
press filter button to apply filters. You can also remove unnecessary filter from the stack by pressing button. By default Winbox shows most commonly used parameters. However sometimes it is needed to see another parameters. For example, BGP AS path or other BGP attributes to monitor if routes are selected properly. Winbox allows to customize displayed columns for each individual window. For example to add BGP AS path column. Click on little arrow button, 1, on the right side of the column titles or right mouse click on the root list. From popped up menu move to show columns, 2, and from the submenu pick desired column, in our case click on BGP AS path, 3. Changes made to window layout are saved and next time when Winbox is opened the same column order and size is applied. Detail mode. It is also possible to enable detail mode. In this mode all parameters are displayed in columns, first column is parameter name, second column is parameters value. To enable detail mode right mouse click on the item list and from the pop-up menu pick detail mode. Category view. It is possible to list items by categories. In TIS mode all items will be grouped alphabetically or by other category. For example items may be categorized alphabetically if sorted by name, items can also be categorized by type like in screenshot below. To enable category view, right mouse click on the item list and from the pop-up menu pick show categories. Drag and drop. It is possible to upload and download files to, from router using Winbox drag and drop functionality. You can also download file by pressing right mouse button on it and selecting download. Note. Drag and drop does not work if Winbox is running on Linux using Wine. This is not a Winbox problem, Wine does not support drag and drop. Traffic monitoring. Winbox can be used as a tool to monitor traffic of every interface, queue or firewall rule in real time. Screenshot shows Ethernet traffic monitoring graphs. Item copy. This shows how easy it is to copy an item in Winbox. In this example, we will use the copy button to make a dynamic point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet server interface into a static interface. This image shows us the initial state, as you see DR indicates D, which means dynamic. Double click on the interface and click on copy. A new interface window will appear, a new name will be created automatically in this case PPPOE, in 1. After this down slash up event this interface will be static. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.